hot and I cannot even have the fan on because it makes noise. Hey guys, my name is Chantal and if you've never seen my face before, it is really nice to meet you. Thank you Nicole Sikat for this bottle that you gave me for Christmas. Guys, go subscribe to her channel at Nicole Sikat. She's trying to reach 100 subscribers very soon. So today's video, I am going to be talking about my piercings and stuff. For those of you who have never watched these type of videos before, basically we just talk about um, my piercings, when I got them, where I got them, the pain rating, any problems I had, and then aftercare as well. So we're just gonna go in chronological order, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's gonna be pretty long because I have a lot of piercings, but I'm gonna try to talk as fast as possible. Right now, I have 11 piercings in, but in total, I have been pierced 16 times, I think, and then I just took them out because I got bored or they were giving me problems. Six on my left ear, four on my right ear, and then the belly ring. So starting from the very, very, very beginning. Start from the very beginning. My first lobes I got when I was four months old. Thanks, mom. Probably because I looked like a boy, so the earrings helped me look more like a female. I still look just like a boy, kind of, but it's okay. Can't tell you how much that hurt. I probably cried. Um, yeah. The next piercing I got was my second lobes when I was 12 years old. I rated it a 3 out of 10 considering like all the other piercings that I've gotten. It was nothing. Aftercare with the low piercings, it was just like, I had like a cleaning solution for, for piercings from Claire's. So I used that. The next piercing I got was my first ever helix piercing and it was like somewhere up here. That was when I was 14 years old. I rated it a 6 out of 10 considering it was my first ever cartilage piercing. I was very nervous, I remember the day. My parents took me. I had to have their consent because I was only 14. Aftercare, I used a salt water solution. I did have a problem with my first helix piercing. It got infected somehow, I think I was touching it too much. But like this part of my ear was like swollen and it was like purple and thank goodness it went down. But I took it out because like I didn't really do research back then on piercings and like look at pictures for inspiration on how to position it. So the guy was like, where do you want it? And I was like, there. And then he just shoved the needle through. And then as I got older and started to look at pictures of piercings, I was like, I'm not happy with the position. So I took it out. I can't remember when I took it out. I think I was 19. So I pierced my nose and that was when I was 19. I rated it a seven out of 10 because it was freaking sore. And let me tell you guys, I had issues with that nose ring. I, I, I was very stupid, okay? I know you guys are gonna be like, Chantal, why would you do that? But like I said, I didn't really do research and stuff. I just like went and got piercings. So I got my nose pierced with a gun. Biggest mistake of my life, guys. It gave me problems. Like, my nose piercing never healed. Two years down the line, it was still sore and it was still getting swollen and it was just really horrible. And now I have like scar tissue on the inside of my nose. It's not nice. I used um, salt water solution, some earbuds, and then I just rubbed it on there. That I took out this year it was just really sore, and I was like, it's fine actually, because you were giving me so many problems. So just. Um, the next piercing I got was my third lobe. So, yes, I have three sets of lobe piercings. This I got when I was 20, so last year. I would rate it probably. Like a four. I got pierced with a gun and the one gun slightly hit my cartilage so that's why I'm gonna rate it a four because like it was just, it was hitting something and it was very uncomfortable, it took a while to heal. I had a few problems with it where I would get like, like a, a blister, a bump or something on it. After care, I used that cleaning solution from Claire's. After my third lobes, I got my second helix piercing just below my first helix piercing and this was also when I was 20 years old. I would rate it an 8 out of 10 considering that it hit a really thick piece of cartilage like now I'm playing with the cartilage like that's very uncomfortable. But the reason why I got it was because since I didn't like the position of my first helix I was like maybe if I put a second one it will make it look like a cute little pair. So I did that. I don't even have them in anymore. I don't know when I took it out. I think I took it out this year. 
for last year. I got pierced with a needle. Aftercare, same thing, salt water solution. After my second helix piercing, I got my tragus or tragus, whatever you want to call it. I got that pierced and that was on the 3rd of January 2017 on Nicole Sigat's birthday. We both got ours pierced. And I rated this one a 5. Yeah, I rated it a 5 out of 10 because the only issue I had was like the uncomfortableness of getting it pierced because I could hear a crunching sound. Like he put the needle, he put the needle in and then it like kind of stopped and then he continued. It just made a weird crunching sound by my ear and it was it was very uncomfortable but after that it healed pretty well. I didn't have a lot of problems with this one. I was able to sleep on this ear on the same night. I was shook guys. So the tragus, same aftercare, salt water solution. After my tragus, I got my belly pierced and that was on the 21st of January 2017. Oh, for those of you who don't know, 2017, that means I'm 21 years old, so 2017 means I was 21. Okay, cool. I rated it a 7 out of 10 because it was quite sore. I didn't lie down like most people do. I just stood up and the guy lined it with the center of my body and then he marked it off and then he pierced my belly and it was like it was a pinch but I think it was more painful afterwards. I would say it was more painful after I got it pierced, not while it was getting pierced. Aftercare, um, cup of salt water solution and then I just had to like soak it basically. Did I have any problems? Oh yes, I had a problem with my belly ring. So I think I was like allergic to the, the jewelry or just like sensitive to it. But the belly ring, the jewelry was like starting to sink into my skin and it was forming this like crater at the top part of my piercing. And it, like it was really sore, it was very like raw and it was horrible. So I had to tape my jewelry in a position where I could get that crater to heal. Thank goodness it healed, so we good now, we good, we Gucci. After my belly ring piercing, I got a forward helix piercing and that was somewhere up here. I rated it a 6 out of 10. I got it pierced on the 27th of February. 6 out of 10 because it was a bit uncomfortable. It is a very small space to work with, so like it just, to get it pierced, it was very uncomfortable. Any problems? Yes, this one did have a problem. My jewelry was like migrating, so my body was rejecting the jewelry. And my jewelry, my earring started in one place and I could see a scar of where it moved closer and closer to the edge of my, my forward helix. Like it could have just come out at some point. So I took it out and yeah, it, it was scary. After my forward helix, I got my midway helix, which is this one over here at the top. I got that pierced. On the 13th of March 2017, I rated it a 6 out of 10 because of course it's still a cartilage piercing so it hurt but it was on a very thin piece of cartilage that it wasn't so bad. It was kind of nice I guess. It bled a lot but it didn't hurt. It was weird. Like it bled a lot. This ear in general just has problems like it just bleeds a lot and then this ear like never bleeds. It's so weird. Never had any problems with it. Same aftercare salt water solution. After my midway helix, I got another helix piercing. My battery is about to die, okay, so let me just hurry up. After my midway, I got this helix piercing. Because I took these ones out, I was like, let me just try on my other ear now. Let me start fresh. I got it pierced on 3rd of April 2017. Rated it a 7 out of 10, considering it also kind of hit a thick piece of cartilage. I took it out because it was really uncomfortable. Like, whenever I slept on it, it just wasn't healing properly and it just... It, was, it wasn't great, so I took that out. Um, after my helix, I got my second forward helix piercing here, just below my original one. I got that pierced on the 12th of May, 2017, and I rated it a 6 out of 10 again because it wasn't so bad. Um, it's all good now. We good. Hasn't had any problems. Same aftercare salt water solution. After that, I got my second midway helix, which has been my last piercing of all. So that one is below this one, so it's this piercing. And that I got pierced on the 4th of September 2017 and I rated it probably about a 6 as well because it also was like a thin piece of cartilage but bleeding again was a problem because of just this side of my 
my head in general. My battery is about to die, so I'm going to speed up this outro. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about piercings that you would like me to try answer, I'm not a professional, but maybe I can share some sort of information with you. Just comment that down below and I will do my best to respond to you. I always respond to comments or I try to respond to. That's about it. Stay tuned because I will be filming a video about my tattoos after I get my last one. And... Yeah, so subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you have a great day, great evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.